Hi there, everyone, and welcome to The Homespun Wife. My name is Sherry, and I'm glad you're here. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you seven makeup items that I love and purchase from Amazon. These are items that I use every single day for my simple makeup routine. Now, when I was a younger woman, I used a lot of makeup from department stores, heavier makeup that no longer seems to work for me now that I'm 60, and I have a few more fine lines than I did back then. Uh, back as I was moving into my 40s, I noticed that my skin was changing, and a lot of this was due to probably hormones and aging, and the makeups I had used in the past were aging me, and not only that, but they were sort of irritating my skin. I was starting to have some breakouts, and I felt like a teenager some days. I had so many little breakouts and redness, and I decided to move away from the heavier foundations into some something lighter and better for my skin. And that's when I discovered BB cream. And for a lot of years, I used Garnier BB cream. BB cream was a, a lightweight, um, very soft um, type of makeup. It came in like a long tube, almost like lotion, um, but it went on almost like a, a light foam. And I loved how it made my skin look and feel immediately. A lot of the irritations that I was having in my skin went away and I really came to depend on that Garnier BB cream. Unfortunately, <laughs> Garnier quit making that BB cream and I was heartbroken, along with a lot of other women who really enjoyed it as well. I don't know why they quit making that, if it was a supply issue or what, but anyway, they no longer made it and I had to find a solution. I needed to find something else that would work in a similar way. Well, in my quest to find something, I found what I consider to be the best makeup I have ever used, and I want to share that with you today. It is made by Physicians Formula, and it is called Super CC Cream, and this is called All Over Blur. You can see it there at the top, and I use the light, medium variety of this. This is a lot like BB cream, but better, because this is a color corrector. So if you have discolorations or little, maybe some little aging spots, you know, as you get older, you're going to have some of those things that happen. This is a perfect makeup to use because it does give you kind of an all over blended color appearance, a soft appearance. It's um, almost like you're not wearing any makeup at all. That's how it feels. It's so good. And um, I was going to see what it might say about this color correction and care. Um, my skin has never felt softer, and I really love this makeup. Now, I have paid as much as $17 for this one-ounce container of um, makeup before, but right now on Amazon, you can buy this for $11.89, and that's the cheapest price that I've ever paid for this makeup. I tossed two of them in my Amazon cart this morning, and as I was beginning to look over my makeup drawer at my little stockpile that I had set up and started searching on Amazon for a few things I needed to fill the gaps, I realized that this makeup at that price, I needed to go ahead and get a couple more. So uh, this is one that I had in reserve. Now, here is the one that I'm using currently. I'll show it to you. This may look like that it's all used up, but it's not. It has plenty of makeup left in here. And all up in here in this upper section is makeup. And this cool little pink pump, it will draw and draw makeup up until every last bit of it is gone. And I'm very impressed how, um, how I get a really good deal. I get the most for my money when I purchase this Physicians Formula All Over Blur CC Cream. And so for those of you who might like to give that a try, I highly recommend it. And then another thing I enjoy using from time to time is loose powder. I know that um, makeup artists often tell you that it's probably not a good idea for older women to use loose powder, that it can um, increase the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, but I don't necessarily use the loose powder all over my whole face. I tend to use it over places that might get shiny through the day. Um, of course, this Physicians Formula makeup is sort of a matte color, so it really doesn't have any shine to it whatsoever, but I still like to put a little loose powder, maybe it's a habit, I don't know, over my nose and over my forehead a little bit, where I do tend to have a few um, little, you know, discolorations. And so, in the past, I've always used CoverGirl Loose Powder, and I highly recommend that translucent loose powder made by CoverGirl, but... 
the last time that I went into Amazon to place an order for a backup supply of it, it was not available. And so I instead purchased this Maybelline translucent powder or what we might call shine free powder. And this is a light color. That's what I use because my skin is fair. And, um, and this, I forget exactly how much I paid for it, but it has been in my stockpile now, like I say, for probably about six months. Well, recently I finished using up the Color Girl loose powder that I had. I got down to the very end of it and decided to go ahead and break open this Maybelline. And what I do is whenever I open makeup, I make sure that I have a backup to this one. And if I don't, I order one or two to, re to replace that, just to have a replacement in case there are supply chain issues later on down the line. Because makeup is something that doesn't really go bad. And um, it's, it's good to have a little extra on hand if you know you really love something. So I have enjoyed using this um, Maybelline over this week. This is a relatively new container that I've opened. I remember years ago using this and enjoying it then, but for some reason I had switched over to CoverGirl. I think it was just readily available and always a really good price. Um, and so today when I was looking to order something to back this up, the Maybelline was super high. It was like one, I think was like $15 and 61 cents and another distributor, maybe like $21 and something for just a little bit of loose powder. I'm like, there's no way that can be real. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is with those prices. Don't order that. Don't pay that much for it. I did notice, however, that the CoverGirl powder that I used in the past and have loved using, it was on sale today at a 37% off discount. And so you can get that powder right now. Let me verify the price for you so I don't tell you wrong. Yeah, $5.69 for that container of loose powder. And these are very similar. I mean, one's Maybelline, one's Color Girl, but they're very similar products. And so I stuck one of those in my cart and ordered that today. So whichever way you decide to go when you find this, um, be sure to check out the loose powder if it's something you think you might enjoy using from time to time. Now, after my foundation is all finished, I like to put on my blush. And this was the real reason that I was on Amazon today. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I put on my blush today is that I was you know, starting to get to the bottom of this container of blush and I was gonna pull out a new one and make sure that I had it on the ready and I didn't have one. And I was like, what? I don't have any extra blush. So I went to my Amazon store and um, put some in my cart. And today it was a wonderful price. Let me tell you what the price is. The blush today was on sale for $5.86. And this is what I have used for years for a long, long time, even more than department store brands, is this CoverGirl um, blush. I use the Soft Mink. I love that color. To me, it is just works well with my skin. And this is what it looks like inside. And you can see I've done a quite a bit of using here. Now it comes with a small brush that I really don't use. Nothing wrong with the brush. It's fine. But I have a, a, some makeup brushes I've had for quite a while. I wash them periodically, take care of them. And so that's what I use to put my blush on. But this is the color that I use. And like I say, today I decided, hey, you know what? I do not have another container of this. When this is gone, I'm done. I need to get something going in the stockpile. So there you go. Now I have some blush coming to me via Amazon very soon. So that is what I use for my blush. And then I move over to my eyes. Now I will go ahead and tell you that as I have aged, I have developed dry eye syndrome and I have to use drops in my eyes. And I also use a brooder mask twice a day to help with that problem. And so I want to make sure that whatever I put on my eyes is not going to irritate them. I stopped long ago using like eyeliner and things like that. They just didn't really work for me anymore, especially as I was getting older and then my eyes began to bother me. Um, so instead, I just tried to keep things very simple. I remember one of the first videos that I ever did on YouTube years ago, um, I had a, a person comment underneath a great criticism. It just broke my heart at the time. She commented on the fact that my eyebrows were invisible and that I needed to do something about it. And then I had a second person come in behind her and say something similar. I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe people are so critical out there. But I am a, 
a fair person with, um, you know, kind of had blonde hair, lighter colored hair for quite a few years, and my eyebrows are just not that um, significant and noticeable. And so I did take that to heart though and decided that I was going to try to find some type of eyebrow brush or liner to, um, you know, pencil or something that could help me fill in my eyebrows a little bit better. And I have tried over the years to find something that I like and I've gone over several different products that were okay, but I finally landed on one that I absolutely love and I wanted to share it with you today and it's called Total Temptation. And this is made by Maybelline. And it's one of the more expensive items that I purchase. This, um, let's see, let me make sure I tell you correctly. Yes, today I paid $8.99 for this, but I've paid more for it uh, before. I've paid like $11 and $12. And that seems like a lot to me for an eyebrow pencil. But I really do love this. And so I just try to keep a couple built up and put back so that when you know, I run out of one, I do have that follow-up on standby. Me show you how I do this. Now, I know there are probably going to be some makeup professionals out there that will tell me that I'm doing everything wrong. Look, I'm 60. Just let me do it wrong. If I'm doing it wrong, it's the way I like it, and it's okay. <laughs> but what I do is I take this little brush portion that's up top right here. See that little brush on there? And then I just kind of smooth my eyebrows out a little bit. And then I take this part right here. It's kind of like the pencil part. And you can roll it up and down. This rolls. So you know, you don't sharpen it or anything. It just rolls like this. And then I just kind of fill in my natural brow, wherever my eyebrow is, it's kind of invisible up there. I mean, I have a little brow, but it's just so fair, you don't see it. And I, I fill that in. And then I can actually, after I'm finished, go back over with the brush and kind of smooth it out again if I want to. And that's how I use this Total Temptation Eyebrow Pencil. This is one of my favorites that I've ever used. There have been a few times that I haven't been able to find it. And so, um, but the last few times I've been on Amazon, it's there. And so I'm always happy to get one or two and stockpile them. And I highly recommend this for those of you who may have trouble finding a eyebrow pencil that you like. So after I do the brows, then I move on to eyeshadow. Now, I will tell you that through the years, I have used all kinds of eyeshadows. When I was younger, I was into the colors. You know, I did the blues and the greens and the purples and all of that. And, and that, that worked well when you're young. But now that I'm older, I do something so much simpler. Even though I do have a whole palette of eyeshadow colors, I primarily use just a few and kind of blend them together to give me just a little bit of color on my lids. And I used this little eyebrow pencil, now This, I mean, eyebrow brush. It didn't come with this set. Um, this set comes with its its own little brush, but, um, but that's not what I use. Once again, I have a little set of brushes, but I will show you how well loved and used this is. But you can see these are called the Nudes. And this uh, palette is made by Maybelline and it has a lot of the browns and tans and um, that kind of color. Uh, some of them are kind of shimmery. Some of them are just kind of a flat color. This is a very dark color down here. And I actually, uh, this is not something I used up. It popped out. It, it actually popped out of the kit. I think I bumped it really hard or something and it came out. And since I didn't ever use that color, it didn't matter. But, um, but I do, you can see the ones that I tend to use the most. And what I typically do is I just kind of blend a few of those browns together and just go over my lids. Now, if I'm going out in the evening and want a little something extra, I might take some of this little darker color right here or this, and then kind of go into the crease of my eye a little bit and flare out a little on the side and give me a little more contour on my lids. But mostly I'm just looking not to just have bare white eyelids there, you know, and this, these are the colors that I love the most and so I recently ordered a backup for this and I checked the price today for you on Amazon. And this is um, on sale right now. It normally runs $11.98. They have a coupon and it makes it like just a little over $10 for this today. And you get a lot of bang for your buck with this um, for a little over $10 and all these different pretty um, neutral nudes colors and browns. And um, I, I really enjoy using this. And so that's what I do next. And then to follow up with my eyes, I am very mindful of the fact I need something that's not going to, um, you know, bother my eyes or cause my eyes to water excessively or anything. Um, and so I have been using the same 
uh, mascara for a long, long time, lots of years, and I continue to use it and love it. I have tried other, others. I've tried others within the same brand. I have tried department store types. I've tried different ones, you know, over, over time, but this is a wonderful standby. And I always keep these in supply and it is the Great Lash Waterproof um, Mascara and I love it so much. It's just the simple old fashioned, um, very black. I, I get black because it does help my very fair lashes to, you know, kind of stand out a little more and the waterproof because I do use drops in my eyes every day. And so like I start out in the morning, I'll use a couple drops and then like midday, I'll use a couple drops and then in the evening, I'll use a couple drops and at night I will. And so, you know, when you're using eye drops and you have um, washable mascara, all of that mascara will start running off down your face and it can mess up all of your, you know, your makeup and um, leave you kind of feeling washed out there. And so waterproof is the only way to go for me. There have been times that it's difficult to find this waterproof mascara, but today I was able to find a three pack of this mascara for $14, and let me make sure, yeah, $14.94. So that's less than $5 a piece for the mascara. And I will open this up in case any of you have never used the Great Lash. This isn't a curved brush or anything like that. It's just like your standard, you know, um, black mascara and it does not cause my eyes to itch. It does not cause me any issue at all. And I have found that lots of others do cause me problems with my eyes, but this one does not. So be sure to go over if you've never tried it and you would like to try a good standby mascara, Great Lash is a wonderful way to go. So after I'm through with all of that and I've shown you guys six of the things that I use in my daily makeup routine, I go over to my lip color. Now, I have been using the same lip color forever, a long, long time. I love this. I bought it by chance one day and tried it and was crazy about it. And it is called Outlast All Day. It is made by Covered Girl. It is a two-part um, lip color, and it is not a filler. It does a plump or do anything to sting or burn your lips. I also hate lasting lip colors that cause your lips to be stiff or feel like something is painted on in a heavy way. I've used some of those before and would have to go and wash it off. I just couldn't stand it. I didn't like it. Um, unlike those, this is the perfect lip color. It does hold its color all day. It says on here up to 24 hours. I've never really kept my lip color on for 24 hours, but I have kept my lip color on all day long and notice that it does hold up well. My lip color has been on for hours now as I'm doing this video, and um, you can see that it's still there. And then what it is, let me show you. You get this, this two-part um, lip color. Now this color is 621, and it is called blush. Let me, let me tell you exactly what it's called. Natural blush. Natural blush is the color, it's color 621. Yeah, let me show you. There it is right there. And um, here's the color part and you start with that and it comes with this nice little spongy brush right here and just put it on your lips and then you kind of let that dry. Like I say, it will not be like super stiff or anything like that. It's just lip color and it, it just kind of goes on your lips and you let that dry. And then you come over with this part, which is the, um, the glossy part. And it's almost like a clear, shiny, chapstick type lipstick and you go over your lips with it and it, it refreshes it during the day as well and it allows you to have a little shine to your lips and, um, and so I love to toss this sometimes in my purse if I'm going out and that way you, know, you don't have to apply any more color the color stays on you can just freshen it up with this glossy part here it's not like heavy gloss it's more like a really sleek hmm, I don't even know how to describe it shininess that you put on there. It's it's smoother than chapstick and not as heavy as gloss. It's really, really nice. I like the way this feels. And like I say, I've been using this same all day color for a long, long time. And I went on today, and let me tell you the price for today. The lip color was $7.99. And because I, I think I have about four of these in my little stockpile, I went ahead and ordered one more. It doesn't hurt. And you can get a lot out of this one tube of lipstick. Like the color 
keeps going and going and going. And so you can't go wrong. Not a bad price for some really nice lip color. So there you go, friends. Those are seven items that I use every day for my makeup. Now, I am going to leave a, just, um, a link down below to my Amazon store where I will have um, some items, all seven of these items listed there under like makeup. And that way you will be able to find these things very quickly and you won't have to search. I will tell you that I am an Amazon affiliate and I um, do benefit with a commission uh, in the form of a gift card when you purchase from a link that I provide um, it is of no extra cost to you. You get the same price as if you bought that without going to my storefront, but it does help me um, as Amazon rewards me for um, just talking about things that I love using and leaving a link for you from my store. Friends, thank you so much for spending time with me today. In the comments below, let me know about some of your favorite um, makeup tools that you use. Um, do you have one brand or style? I found that most women do, um, and perhaps they've changed as the years have gone by, and if you age a little bit, usually you will find that, you know, you need to change things up now and then, but I'm always curious to see what other ladies are using, if it's something I might like to try to, um, you know, to mix up my makeup routine. These are my favorite seven standbys that I've enjoyed for a long time, and think I will for a long time to come. Thank you all for being here today, and like always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.